Take your marks. Sophie Pascoe has stepped off the starting block countless times. For those watching her development, reckon we haven't begun to see the potential of this young swimmer. The thing is about Sophie when it comes to races, when she lines up, she, do, she doesn't take prisoners. They can be good trainers and poor racers. That Sophie trains as well as she's a bloody good racer. Ready and go. Just 14 years old, this Christchurch teenager has been identified as a young woman to watch in the build-up to next year's Paralympics. She's already ranked in the top three in the world for backstroke, breaststroke and individual medley and is in the top 10 for 100 metre and 400 metre freestyle after her performance in England and South Africa last year. I like breaststroke, just because it's different. And I don't like bunk either, because it's hard. Out of the pool, Sophie Pascoe does what many teenage girls love to do. She we goes shopping. <laughs> Only there's not much time for it these days, and there'll be even less next year. <laughs> Inside 12 months, this slightly built young woman has gone from junior swimmer to being seriously considered as a medal prospect in the Beijing Paralympics. Her success overseas last year took everyone by surprise especially her parents. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. last year when she went to the Worlds, that sort of yeah. opened their eyes and yeah. next thing... It opened our eyes too. We weren't expecting, um, you know, her to come third and get a medal. Um, really surprised. I didn't expect anything. I just went over there for um, experience with the older kids and what I should um, see next year, hopefully, and... That's all I went over for, but coming home with a bronze is like, well. Thank you. Do you have to go on a special diet for someone? Not really. <laughs> I have to eat healthy food, but can't eat too much fat food. So you can't go to me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Last year was my biggest, like, first time I ever did intense training. And this year it's kind of got harder as I go along because I've had more international competitions. So it's kind of stepped up heaps. This year, Sophie's training six days a week, sacrificing time with friends, doing what her coach, Rolly Crichton, tells her to. It's very important that Sophie, she stretches a lot. She's 14. As she develops, she's growing, getting bigger. And of course, if you don't stretch, you become very tight and uh, you're limited. Radio, you're not shopping now. I'll just run you through um, what we're doing here. We're going to do a mixture. We'll go 50, so you go 25 free, 25 back. Okay, you can have a rest. Rowley, himself a former gold medalist, was introduced to Sophie free, when she was free. just 10. When you feel a bit tired, how do you feel after last week? Better. You bounce back. Yeah. Sophie's just come off a break. It was a forced break. She's had a little operation and um, she had a couple of swims three weeks ago and then four swims the week after that and this last week she swam just under 30k in uh, four and a half days. The bone on Sophie's stump regularly outgrows the skin and needs trimming every couple of years. She's just returned to the pool after the most recent operation. As you can see with Sophie kicking and with only the one limb it's quite hard for her to balance in the water. She's using that front hand to scull with and balance on the water. It's very important that she keeps nice and long and streamlined. Well, I have to kick with my stump as much as I can just to keep that um, right side so I'm not lopsided in the water, especially in backstroke. OK, I want more rotation in the front of your stroke here. OK. Want to be ripping through the front end of the stroke a little more. A swim session like this will involve 200 lengths of the QE2 pool, around four kilometres. She's big, long and looks handsome in the water, but what happens is we've got to get our cadence up and our stroke rate to get her up into race mode. 33-3 again, good. Sophie lost her limb when she was run over by a ride-on motor mower. 
She was just two years old. She has no memory of having two legs. Once I got out of the pool, and um, this was when I was young, I got out of the pool and I just started walking, like without my leg on, and I just went straight to the ground and it absolutely hurt. Yeah, I got grazed all over my stump. I've never experienced that before, but doctors said that's like phantom, um, phantom leg and stuff. So it's quite weird. Because she's at a critical growth phase, Sophie has a physio guide her training in the gym to ensure she performs all exercises in the correct manner. So you want to go right up, just until it's almost touching, but not to bang it. I get, the big thing is that she's got a nice strong core, is a big one, but also with her leg strength, with her, even her single leg strength for her pushing off, off the wall and also for her dive starts as well. So you want to sit up straight, and it's working these muscles on here. She has got good stability and very good strength and power as well. And that's one of the things we're really working on. Um, it just helps like for on the blocks to keep my balance like so I don't wobble. Hi dear. Hi. How are you love? Good. Alright. Yeah. 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 Oh, There's another oh, important member of the support already. crew, <laughs> Sophie's Nana Yvonne. <laughs> There's many a morning that Nana's had to get up to drop Sophie to the pool at 5.15am. Proud as punch, she does it willingly. She's good company, especially since my husband died. But um, we've been good pals, haven't we? Go to the movies together and shopping and all sorts. <laughs> and 5.15 starts in the morning. <laughs> Rolly pushes me, so he... but. Everyone else, like mum and dad, and just the rest of the family, has helped me so much, like with support. And I don't, I just give 100% every time in the water, and that's all I can do. Sophie isn't expected to peak until she's around 19. That's a lot more sessions in the pool for everyone backing her. Technology of artificial limbs is advancing. Who knows what could be possible for amputee swimmers one day? But Sophie has just one interest in technology. What would be your dream limb? A high heel foot. <laughs> I always want a high heel foot so I can wear it at a ball or something. Yeah. Anything else? No, just a high heel foot. <laughs>